Hi, this is Sariyam. Today we are going to talk about uh, single joint movements and multi joint movements. What I mean by single joint movement is this. I am just moving my elbow alone. This is a single joint movement. And uh, multi joint movement is I am moving many joints. And one of the most important multi joint movement is what we call as a functional activity. So when I when I'm reaching for my glasses and then doing, you can see I use a lot of my joints, starting from my um, fingers, elbow, uh, trunk to my plantar flexors because I'm kept my foot on the ground. So all these muscles and all these joints are working. So that's called as a multi-joint movement. Now, as you can imagine. Uh, most of the time we have very little uh, functional activity with only the one joint. Single joint movements are most of the time very very little value in terms of function. As Dr. Uh, Latasha said, um, single joint movements are there primarily for just studying, just for understanding uh, muscles and nerves and things like that. Not to understand motor behavior or motor control. So one of the most uh, uh, one of the pioneers in our field, um, uh, not and worse, they were the first to uh, appreciate multi joint movements. Right? If you have studied uh, PNF, you will know that all oh, they have done. They do movements like this, diagonal patterns, and moving your shoulder, your scapula, your elbow, and wrist and fingers. All these things together, not as uh, single joint movements, but as a multi joint movements. Now, in the last uh, few decades, uh, last 20 years, and especially in the last 10, 10 years, we have come a step further than what um, uh, Norton was have uh, proposed in terms of multi joint movements. What uh, we now understand is the uh, multi-joint movements are not just in one direction like this or like this or this. They are in different variations. There are a lot of, lot of variations in functional activities. And functional activities also have a goal. These two have very important implications. And you also uh, see that all our movements, all our functional movements are multi-joint. So what is this has to go with uh, rehabilitation? As you can imagine, we want to teach our patients, we want to train our patients in things which are valuable in for their uh, daily life. They want to live their life, right? So in living their life, what are they going to do? They are going to do multi-joint functional activities. So what do we want to train? We want to train multi-joint functional activities rather than single joint activities, right? You don't want to strengthen your uh, biceps. You don't want to strengthen your extensors. You don't want to strengthen your or uh, reduce your spasticity of this muscle or this muscle, that muscle. You want to encourage and teach and facilitate multi-joint functional activities. So if you want to know more about all these things, <coughs> come join us this December. Uh, in Chennai 10 and 11. Thank you.